Now, a lot of you probably don't know this, but when I was just a wee nipper of 17, I came out to France to work at Dream Lakes for two seasons. It's an absolutely awesome complex. Now, that was about 10 years ago now. I had a great time and uh, obviously learned a lot about fishing along the way, being surrounded by carp 24-7. There's some huge fish in here now. The commons are just, are just getting ridiculously big. They go well over 60 pound. In fact, I think they even go to 70 pound down in one of the other lakes. Anyway, I was speaking to Ray all the other week and uh, he said he was coming out here for a week's fishing and invited me out for a couple of days. How could I have turned down that offer, eh? So here we are. We just got here and 20 minutes up the road, we got a text from Rail saying that he's got a kipper in the sack. So uh, we're going to nip round and see him now, see what he's got. Well, there's only one word for that, Rail. Awesome. <laughs> what a chunk. What'd it go? A 51-1. Absolutely mint condition, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Awesome, mate. So you've been here a few days. How many have you had so far? This will be my 18th. It's the biggest one in the lot so far. I've had a few 30s up to about 37. When he's full, you know, yeah. he's going to be an upper 50 easily, isn't he? Well, this is a small 50 compared to what's in this lake. Really? They just have come on leaps and bounds since yeah. I was here, haven't they? I think the average size is probably about 50, 55, like in the, in the region of 50 pounders. But this is a small 50 for in here. Excellent. All right, mate, well, we'll let you get him back and then we'll have a little look at what you're doing and I'll uh, get my rods out myself, shall I? Yeah, see it. Top see if man. you can get one, yeah. Good angling. Cheers. There we go, 51 1. Cracking. Send her over to Joe's for you. Right, right, we're end on uh, Lake One. Can you give us a little description of the lake before we talk about your tactics? Yeah, I can, yeah. This is about 16 acres in size. It's a horseshoe shape. And um, like you've got two big bays down one side and the other. And there's a big bar that runs right the way across the open water, right down to the other end. And it's um, about three foot deep on top and about six foot on the bottom. So it's obviously uh, a good feature to start with, you know. I've chose to come around in the sunset swim on the open water. The wind has been pushing down here. It's that big bar I like, you know, because you've got to, if it's hot, I can cast on top of the bar. But most of the time I fish on the bottom of the bar because when I'm baiting up, obviously scattering boardies, most of the boardies roll to the bottom of the bar, you know, so it's a, it's a good place to start, I suppose, isn't it? Cool. So what sort of depth you got on at the bottom of the bar then? At the moment, it's about five and a half foot as the sun's out, so. What sort of range are you looking at? It's probably about, I'd say, 80, 85 yards. Yeah, so it's quite a comfortable cast. Yeah, it's, it's a comfortable chuck, yeah. Excellent. All right, mate, well, as I say, you've been here a few days. What's your approach been? How have you been tackling it? Well, I started off with all three rods on the bottom of the bar and walking around to the point and scattering bait. It's a bit easier that way. I like to spot out, you know, I like to spot. So uh, I've been chopping boilies up and starting to spot on an area, and that's where I've been picking a few fish up today. Yeah. So what about your sort of hook baits wise then? Well on the one I've got out on open water off the side of the bar with scattered boilies, I've got an 18mm boilie with a high vis milky toffee on top. Yeah, a little so, white one. Yeah, white's the one doing it at the minute. But it's cell that you're putting out? Yeah, cell, all cell. The other two I've put a uh, cell dumbbell cut in half with a white and a yellow on oh. top, see, just to see what's going on. It's funny isn't it, how different colours on different yeah, days yeah. can I, make different. I have noticed that I have changed from a yellow to a pink and now that's working. So I've got a yellow and a white, uh, a white and a pink on now. So, all right, mate. Well, I believe you've saved me to swim next door. Yes, we have. Yeah. Ladies' lair. Should we have a quick lair. pop round there, and uh, you can point us in the right direction. It's been yeah, a while yeah. since it's been ten years or so since I've fished there. <laughs> it's a bit bigger now, Joe. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's go and have a look, shall we? Yep. Right. Well, here we are, round in ladies' lair. I can't actually remember ever fishing this swim, row. It's a nice swim, though, isn't it? You've got obviously the main feature of the point sticking out there and a the bar. And... Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, it was looking good, isn't it, really? But um, I bet them pads and all that weren't here when you was here. No, nah, not like that much, it's, anyway. It's an obvious spot, in it, in between them two pads there. So I'd have one rod off there somewhere, and then the other two, just the same, off the side of the bar. Yeah. Straight out in front, and just walk round and bait up. That's a lot, probably luxury, that, isn't it? Yeah, easy. Just cap up when just flick, yeah. flick. I've got a bike if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> so we could blip round there and do that, you know? Superb. Right, well, I'm actually getting quite excited, mate, so I think I'm going to get my gear set up and uh, get some rods out. That's it, yeah. Top man. Dream Lakes were one of the first UK-based companies to begin taking people to France purely to fish for carp. It was Zenon Boyko and his brother Orest who began with this lake and over the years expanded Dream Lakes considerably, now having five lakes spread over three sites, all in close proximity to one another. 
There's massive carp and catfish in all the lakes, and the complex record now stands at an astonishing £74 plus. Even though there can be up to 50 anglers on, incredibly you never feel like it's rammed out. There's always plenty of water to fish to, and rarely, if ever, do people leave Dream Lakes having blanked. Lake One was where it all started, and it's incredible to think that it's grown so much in such a relatively short time. The lodge that sits on the end of the spit was originally the main lodge where all meals were served, but since that time, two more have actually been built, by Lakes Two and down by Three, Four and Five. A maximum of 15 anglers are allowed on Lake One at any one time, and with 23 swims to choose from, in around 15 acres, there's little danger of fishing on top of one another. The lake record stands at £65, a common, with mirrors over 62 and cats to £130, with loads of 40s and quite literally too many 30s and 20s to count. All swims on the complex have been built to a high standard. They're clean, practical, sizeable and a great place to spend a week fishing for some serious French carp. There's many underwater features on Lake One, which ranges in depth from six to nine feet, and there's not a crayfish or poisson chat in sight. At Dream Lakes, the fact that you're on holiday is never forgotten, and you can relax and enjoy the tranquility of the venue. As the sun drops and day slips into evening, you return to your swim after dinner, ready for bite time, and the chance of yet another Dream Lakes lump. There we go, that's the third rod, all done and dusted. I've actually flicked that one over to the point and uh, gone around and dropped it in. Got a little trick off rail other two rods just fishing just short of the bar again on rails recommendation um, it's very still at the moment but there's a bit of a weather front moving in a bit cloudy over there guy on the back banks just had a bite it all looks good see what happens tonight gotta say it's great to be back it's a wonderful place here and uh, i'm absolutely stuffed from the old chicken and chips so you always get fed well let's see what happens tonight the fishing can get hectic at dream lakes and it's advisable you bring plenty of clothes a couple of t-shirts simply won't be enough, especially if you want a trophy shot in the lake with a new PB. And at Dream Lakes, that's much more than just a possibility. <laughs> go for it, mate. Well, there we go, the cameraman nipped round the other side to film a 49 pounder. A few minutes later, the old right hand rod goes, the one off the point. And I've got this massive 41, no, no sorry, 40 pound, seven ounce common. And one of the other rods is going there. So I think I'd best get this fish back and uh, help rail out. Well, that nice old common that I just put back, that was my first 40 in a couple of years or so, I think. And the last one was my uh, English PB, 47. So yeah, it's nice to catch a lump. Obviously it's one of the, uh, spawned out ones as well so probably normally a, an upper 40. Here we are into another one. <laughs> Welcome back to Dream Lakes. It's on a uh, little choddy this one. The last one that common was off the point on a, a sort of well a bottom bait but with a bit of a pop-up on there to sort of balance it out a little bit and a little PVA bag of boily crumb. It's a uh, boily only venue these days which seems to have done it massive favours. I think when, when they changed the rule, there's a lot of people thinking, oh, you know, it's going to make it really hard, but it hasn't at all. It's just made the fish massive <laughs> and uh, a lot healthier too. Obviously, the, the quality of boilies these days, particularly the, the mainline ones that they use here, do nothing but good for the fish. That's it. 
Yeah. Number two. <laughs> All in a couple of hours. What a great bit of sport. But there we go. There was the result of that second run. Nice 28 pound common to the length of him. Just shows you how deceiving it can be with fights. You know, that last one came in really easily and we thought it was a bit of a pasty, but obviously it turned out to be a 40. This one felt really heavy and turned out to be a 28. So when people say they've lost a big end, you just never know. Anyway, got to get that rod back out because they're obviously on it, so I'll make the most of it. Just like buses. Just got that rod back out and uh, it trundled off again. El Choddy doing the business and the cell again. Another upper 20, long lean common. Proper long lean fighting machine. Great sport. Right, I'm going to pop him back and get that rod back out because obviously we want to make the most of this little opportunity. Excellent. Another day, another Dream Lakes carp. Just a few hours after landing a 49 pound mirror, another rod roars off and this guy's into a common this time. A great way to kick off another day and it's not even breakfast yet. At 10am, everyone converges on the main lodge, where what can only be described as a major full English breakfast is served, certainly enough to set you up for the day. There's free tea and coffee, there's cereals and fresh bread too, but aside from the food, the lodge is a great place to catch up with the other anglers and swap stories of the past few hours. There's always great camaraderie between the guests and the atmosphere is always buzzing at mealtimes. Aside from being the place where food is served, the lodge is also open from 8.30 in the morning to 7 in the evening for general sales of drinks, snacks, bait and various other bits and pieces. Lake 2 is right by the main lodge and at 18 acres is just about the largest of the five lakes on the complex. Like all the lakes, it boasts some incredible statistics by way of the carp that it contains with some 360s, 1550s, 50 40s and almost countless 30s and 20s. To catch over 40 fish in a week on Lake 2 is a regular occurrence. It holds 18 anglers maximum spread over its 30 swims which offers everyone at least an acre of water each to fish to. Current lake records stand at a 61 pound common, a 57 mirror, a 97 pound cat and a 44 pound grass carp. Lake 2 is rectangular in size and has a track surrounding it so moving is not a problem if you wish to. Like Lake 1, there's no nuisance species here, just hundreds and hundreds of great looking French carp. The Dream Lakes complex is set in the Champagne Ardennes region of France and can be reached from Calais in just under four hours by road. This makes it almost the perfect setting, close enough to the UK to make it viable but far enough into France to be able to take advantage of the great conditions. During the summer months, the weather can get very hot, which in turn leads to great rates of growth in the carp. The complex is set amongst miles and miles of farmland, on the outskirts of the tiny village of Orconte, not far from the famous Lac du Der, or Shantycock as it's otherwise known. Dream Lakes is a little piece of England set inside an idyllic part of France. Although self-drive holidays are available, the majority of guests take advantage of the inclusive package whereby you can leave your vehicle securely parked in the UK and you're ferried quite literally door to door with absolutely no extras to pay. Ferry crossings, all travel expenses and air-conditioned coaches, two great meals a day, and of course a week of top quality fishing is all included. <laughs> 